Hey, ChatGPT, tell me the best five AI cryptos for 2023. I'm sorry, but I am not able to predict the future performance of specific cryptocurrencies. Well, as good as ChatGPT is, unfortunately, it can't step in with an answer here. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the reins and give you my top five AI cryptocurrencies for 2023. Ever since the new ChatGPT upgrade, it's taken the internet by storm as people are starting to realize just how developed AI is. And off the back of that, we've seen a huge amount of renewed interest into the AI sector, which has resulted in even Microsoft investing $10 billion in ChatGPT maker OpenAI. Now this investment is just the beginning as we've seen many other companies like Amazon, Google and Apple all start investing heavily into the AI sector, which is a sector that I believe is going to explode over the next 10 to 20 years. But as crypto investors, how can we capture some of the upside to the AI market while staying within cryptocurrency, a decentralized ecosystem and a vision that we believe in? Well, I believe the answer to this could be trading AI cryptos and AI cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies which utilize the benefits of AI and also run underneath the AI narrative, which has been so popular in recent times um, to create products which can genuinely help different industries become more efficient and better serve their use case to the people. But what is the reason why AI cryptos start Started running in the first place and what is the reason why they started to gain traction well one of the reasons is I think people just realized how quickly this AI industry is moving because if we look at how fast ChatGPT hit 1 million users it is the fastest application in history to do so ahead of Instagram which took 2.5 months to hit a million users Spotify which took five months Facebook which took 10 months and Netflix which took 3.5 years ChatGPT did it in only five days. And it just goes to show how much demand there are for AI products in this current market, but also the potential network effect that a product like ChatGPT can get considering its rapid amount of growth in a very short amount of time. And of course, when you have this kind of growth, many of the biggest companies around the world start to open their eyes to the potential. And I think this is one of the major reasons why we've seen a peaked interest in this sector. We can also see ChatGPT active users have significantly increased now hitting over 11 million daily active users. Instagram took 355 days to get to the same 10 million registered users. So it's a huge milestone for ChatGPT. Elon Musk even came out and said that it's a big year for AI. And I do believe 2023, among other things, is the year of artificial intelligence. Now, a couple months ago on December 7th, 2022, I came out and did a tweet where I said, ChatGPT has made it clear that AI is the future. With the AI narrative running hot, perhaps it's time to research some cryptos in this niche. NMR, FET, Ali, DBC are some of the top gainers this week. So let me know your favorite AI projects in the comments below. And since I did this post, we've seen the AI sector absolutely explode. So my logic here was spot on. Although the prices have pumped so rapidly in the short term, I do still believe that long term, there will be many opportunities in this sector. And that's why I'm gonna give you my five opportunities in today's video, um, even though we did really well calling the initial AI runner. Now I would break down the current state of AI crypto into four different sectors. It's reminding me of the gaming run of 2021, where you start with a big company in investing. So in the gaming run, we first had Facebook or meta platforms uh, investing into the future of the metaverse. And this started to get some hype stirring. Likening that to what's happening right now with the AI sector, we're seeing Microsoft investing $10 billion in the future of AI. Then the next phase that tends to happen with market cycles like this is that speculation increases and prices end up skyrocketing. And that's what has happened with a lot of these AI projects, which have seen a run up in the price alongside a general crypto market rally. But then what happens after this phase is hype often dies down and there's going to be major drawdowns when the hype dies down. But the best projects in that niche and the ones that are building with real utility and are here for the long term, they're going to succeed. And they're not going to harness just the short term wave of, of a specific narrative, but they're going to harness the long term potential of a narrative. And I think AI and gaming both fit into this category where although we do see a huge amount of speculation that comes in and although eventually that hype dies down like it did for gaming, the ones that stick around and the ones that are building genuinely innovative tech long term are going to be strong performers. And that's what today's show is about looking at five that could potentially be strong performers. But of course, in the short term, I think there's still an opportunity with some of the AI cryptos if 
Bitcoin continues to run. Obviously, the major caveat is since many altcoins are following Bitcoin and Ethereum right now, specifically Bitcoin, altcoins aren't going to run unless Bitcoin runs. So if there's an extended Bitcoin rally from, let's say, 23 all the way to 30K, then the projects with relative strength in the market and the narratives with relative strength in the market, they're going to perform really well. And I think AI definitely fits the bill. So you can look at trading opportunities if Bitcoin performs well. But if Bitcoin draws down, the projects with the most speculation, they tend to draw down the most um, because markets often get over leveraged and overheated and we need to see some of that start to cool down. And that will happen if, if we do see a Bitcoin pullback. But that also creates opportunities for the best projects in the niche long term. And I'll give you the top five projects that I'm looking at. I went through the entire list of AI cryptos to sift through and pick my five favorites. So one will be my favorite project. Five will be my fifth favorite project. And then at the end, I'm going to give you two bonus AIs that didn't quite fit the list, but I definitely have my eye on because I think they're super, super interesting. Just before we get into my list of the five AI projects I'm looking at for 2023, remember if you do want to trade any crypto, you can do so on Apex. And Apex is really cool because it is a decentralized crypto exchange. So no more giving away your keys to a centralized exchange. You have access to your own assets. You have custody over your own assets and you can trade on an exchange with very low fees. And that is also very efficient because it is powered by Stark X, which is an L2 ZK rollup scaling solution. So Apex, who are Bybit affiliated, I think are a very good place to trade if you're looking for a DEX to trade on. Literally, you can just connect your MetaMask deposit money onto the Arbitrum, BSC, or Polygon Network, and you are good to go. And one really cool thing about Apex is the fact you can trade to earn. So you literally can earn money from trading. So if you're going to trade anyway, you may as well trade on an exchange where you can actually earn money because what they're doing is giving away $190,000 worth of banner rewards every single week over a 52 week period, which is going to result in $10 million being given away to traders. And if you come over to the trade to earn section, you can see that you can collect rewards every single week, which you can then stake to earn more yield or swap back into USDC to give you more funds to trade with. So it's really cool. You can trade to earn. And if you want to take advantage of their trade to earn program, you can click on this link in the description to trade. All you need to do is deposit and get trading across any of their trading pairs. So link in the description to Apex if you want to trade on one of the best decentralized exchanges in crypto. All right, let's get into my top five AI projects. Coming in at number five is ALI or Artificial Liquid Intelligence. ALI stands for Aletheia. AI, which is essentially a decentralized protocol for creating smart avatars which use AI to interact with people. The platform has originated a new standard for NFTs called Intelligent NFT or INFT, which enables the creation of NFTs embedded with AI animation, voice synths, and generative AI capabilities. Developers can use the INFT protocol to create, train, and earn from their creators in Aletheia's metaverse, which is known as Noah's Ark. So essentially, what you can do is use this platform to create AI characters or AI avatars, which you can then use to represent a certain identity as an NFT. You can generate interactive AI characters from a description in natural language, which basically means it enables you to create a character just via using text. Aletheia Artificial Liquid Intelligence raised over $16 million in a funding round, which included huge backers like Multicoin Capital, Bitcraft Ventures, Galaxy Interactive, Metapurse, and Dapper Labs. What's interesting to note is that Mark Cuban actually made a personal investment into the protocol. It's one of his few personal investments into blockchain, although he is becoming a lot more active in the space. So that is a vote of confidence from Mark himself. Now the ALI token does have a decent use case. It essentially enables the creation of an INFT. So if you want to create um, an NFT and turn it into an INFT, you have to lock the minimum amount of Ali into the ecosystem. So I guess over time, as more people use the protocol, if more people actually do uh, use the protocol, then you are going to see the Ali token supply reduce as more people stake. But obviously, just like a lot of staking mechanisms that does rely on long-term adoption. The second use case for the Ali token is that it enables INFTs to be upgraded. So if you want to upgrade those NFTs to a new level um, or level up a pod uh, as part of their metaverse, then you are going to need Ali tokens to do so. The other thing that the Ali token does is it operates as the governance token of the ecosystem. So whenever you are voting on proposed upgrades or changes to the platform, uh, you're going to need Ali tokens and the stakers are going to be the ones that are essentially voting as it is a decentralized governed 
protocol. There are other use cases as well, but I think those are the main three. And I think overall, Ali is pretty cool. They've got their metaverse. You can create uh, custom avatars using text. It's a pretty cool and unique take on what AI can do um, in the NFT space. And I'm excited to see what they bring out in the future. But without further ado, let's get into AI crypto number two, which is Ocean Protocol. Ocean Protocol has been one of the top performers in the AI crypto space in recent times, rising over 30% over the last week alone. Now, Ocean Protocol is essentially an ecosystem for sharing data and services. It provides a tokenized service layer that exposes data, storage, compute, and algorithms for consumption with a set of deterministic proofs on availability and integrity that serve as verifiable service agreements. This sounds very complicated, but essentially what Ocean Protocol is doing is helping unlock data, particularly for AI. It's designed to scale and uses blockchain technology that allows data to be shared and sold in a safe, secure, and transparent manner. Ocean believes that big data severely disadvantage users and network participants by sharing and monetizing their data while users have little to no control over the process. But to fix this, the Ocean team aims to build a decentralized data exchange protocol that lets consumers, corporations, and everyone in between exchange data with symmetric control and transparency. So what this allows you to do is monetize data via using blockchain technology. A good thread by Data Whale gives some more insight into the potential use case of Ocean Protocol. They say a common misconception in AI includes that AI algorithms must be super complex and complicated. This is false. In in fact, the amount of data available to train the algorithm makes the difference. That's why companies like Tesla, Google, Meta, and Amazon have the most successful AI performance. They simply have the most data. Ocean Protocol aims to break these data silos, provide the ability for anyone to access and monetize data whilst promoting data sovereignty. Ocean Protocol does this with the help of their decentralized data marketplace that runs on several blockchains. Anyone can offer their data in a permissionless manner for others to access. So think of it as one big decentralized data marketplace that helps unlock data for use cases in particular AI. So if you're building an AI dApp or you're an AI protocol and you need some of that data, then Ocean Protocol's data marketplace offers this data and also offers a place for you to monetize this data. Now let's look into the Ocean token itself and do a little bit of further digging into the tokenomics. Masari outlines their launch and initial token distribution, where 42% is going towards technical development, 18% to marketing, 30% to biz dev, and 10% to legal security and administration. This is a large amount that's actually being reinvested back in the development of the protocol. So overall, I don't mind these tokenomics from a token distribution perspective. I think one positive of Ocean Protocol is the fact that the majority of the tokens are already on the market. And although we still have some tokens to hit the market, a total of 783 million have already been released um, out of its max supply of 974 million, and that will eventually push the billion token mark. So roughly only 25% of the tokens are yet to hit the market, which yeah, is a little bit of dilution, but it's not a huge issue. Unlike some other protocols in the market that we see, you know, with major unlocks, which continuously put supply pressure onto the market. So in terms of tokenomics, I don't mind Ocean Protocol. Let's get into AI protocol number three, which is fetch.ai or the token FET. Now, Fetch is super interesting and of this entire list, it's probably the one that is the most AI specific because its use case is entirely geared towards aiding AI platforms and services. Now, essentially what Fetch is, is it's a blockchain-based AI and machine learning platform. So it seeks to provide AI platforms and services that allow anybody to build and deploy AI at scale at any time and from any location. So the platform aims to be a decentralized digital model of the actual world in in which autonomous software agents conduct productive economic activities. This implies that users can use the fetch.ai platform to accomplish tasks such as distributing data and offering services and to be compensated with FET tokens for their efforts. But to summarize all this into a simple sentence, Fetch is essentially a platform that aims to connect devices and enable the creation of markets to add value to the data. So Fetch is powering peer-to-peer -peer applications. So if you're a developer and you're building an application, you can use Fetch AI's platform and services to help aid in that development and power the application once it's running. You can do this harnessing direct or indirect access to the blockchain. The FET token is the digital currency used to power the ecosystem. And essentially, it's the primary medium of exchange within the fetch.ai ecosystem. So 
if you want to pay by services provided by Fetch, you need to pay an FET, just like you'd pay using Link to Chainlink to get Oracle-based services from Chainlink to your project. You can also stake FET tokens to help secure the Fetch network. In what I would say these days is a data economy, projects that can utilize the power and the value of data and offer that on a wide scale are gonna be huge winners. And that's part of the reason why I put Ocean Protocol and Fetch into my top five list, because I think it's an effective way to get exposure to the AI ecosystem whilst also harnessing the power of data value. Now onto the top two. My number two AI project for 2023 is NMR or Numeraire. Now, I have a thesis in crypto, and this is that trading is everything when it comes to the digital economy. Because in the future, people need places to trade, and in crypto specifically, there's a huge demand for services or offer the promise of earning money on trading as crypto is a largely speculated upon industry. So it's an industry full of gamblers, um, and gamblers love to trade. And as things move forward, that's not going to change. And that's part of the reason why I have so much conviction in the DEX narrative long term, because people are going to need places to trade. They're going to need places to speculate, especially as crypto gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But NMR are doing something really interesting. And this is incorporating trading with AI algorithms to support different trading strategies. And they've developed a very unique ecosystem, which I think is really cool. And I want to explain how it works now. So essentially what NMR is, is it's a blockchain based software that acts as a hedge fund and combines incentivization with artificial intelligence, machine learning, cryptography, and data science to predict the stock markets and allow users to trade not just crypto, but equities. Numerai has two applications within the software with each app supporting a different kind of trading. So these these are the two different applications within Numeraire. Number one, Numerai Signals, which is where stock market strategies are uploaded to support a certain type of trading style or a specific stock. And then they also have the Numa AI Tournament, on the other hand, which allows users to upload trading algorithms in a weekly competition, which means any network participant can bet on the most likely outcome based on the user's submissions. So essentially what Numa AI or Numerai, however you pronounce it, is doing is it's allowing you to predict the stock market using AI models and users can upload their own AI models, which people can then bet on. So you've got the signals part of the leaderboard where you can look at some of the winners and look at how much NMR is staked behind that particular trading algorithm. And then you've got Numerai Tournament, which is where users can compete against each other. So it's essentially an AI ecosystem for trading signals. And I think this is really cool. Um, and the fact that you can stake NMR uh, to essentially bet on different users. So I think it's a really cool function of the NMR token. Now the NMR token itself is the utility token of the platform. So it acts as the main payment method and is also used for staking on the outcomes based on market predictions. So NMR is used as an incentive to reward participants in the tournament app in a weekly selection. So NMR is a super cool platform. It's kind of combining trading and AI, and that's why it's in my top five. But let's get into my number one AI crypto project for 2023. And of course, beyond 2023, because I have a long-term time horizon with a lot of these projects. They aren't really short-term trades. Although, as I said earlier, if Bitcoin performs well, these can certainly uh, have enough fuel behind them to be to become short-term trades. Um, but that be comes with a different skill set. You've got to be a short-term trader. But my number one project is, uh, of course, the graph. Now, the graph, although technically not an AI project, does harness um, some of the capabilities of AI, which is why I'm putting it into this list. And CoinMarketCap also puts it into the AI category because of how it indexes data. So the graph is a token that long term, I think is one of the most solid protocols in crypto and one of the strongest ideas in crypto. And essentially what it is, it's an indexing protocol to index data. Now it sounds quite boring, but the function that they're actually providing is one of the most integral and important pieces of crypto infrastructure in the entirety of blockchain. So essentially what the graph does is it indexes and queries data from blockchains starting with the Ethereum network. So it makes it possible to query data that's difficult to query. So projects with complicated smart contracts like Uniswap and NFTs like the Board Ape Yacht Club, they store data on the Ethereum blockchain, which makes it really difficult to read anything other than that data directly from the blockchain. For example, if you wanted to query for apes that are owned by a certain address and filter one of its characteristics, you wouldn't be able to get that information by interacting with the contract itself. What you'd have to do is go through every single transfer event ever emitted to scrape that data, which makes indexing blockchain data really, really hard. 
but the graph is solving this issue with a decentralized protocol as it automatically indexes and enables the performant and efficient querying of blockchain data. And it has APIs, which are indexed as subgraph that can then be queried with a standard GraphQL API. So instead of querying the blockchain itself, which is very difficult and time consuming to do, uh, you can just query the graph subgraph itself, which is automatically indexing and aggregating data together. So you can see the type of use cases um, this can have. Basically any project that wants data on a specific um, characteristic, on a specific transaction, on a specific batch of transactions, NFTs that wanna do a similar thing, they can all use the graph and utilize the power of the graph's indexing network to access data that they may need to make improvements on the protocol um, or just to understand how their protocol works better or get to the bottom of an issue. There's many, many, many use cases for the graph, but essentially the way to think of it is the ultimate um, network for indexing crypto data. And as I said, we're in a data economy in 2023 and beyond. Data is so important and any protocol that is helping make the collection and usage of data more efficient, I think is going to be a big winner. And the graph, which utilizes AI to do so and, and also has many use cases on AI protocols itself um, with their own querying and, and indexing of data, I think it's going to be a big winner long term. Now, the graph had two major funding rounds backed by some of the biggest names in crypto. It had a first strategic round of 5 million, then a funding round of 50 million, where it had Coinbase Ventures, Multicoin, Fintech, Tiger Global Management, and more um, actually back the graph. In terms of its tokenomics, we can see that the allocation is pretty spread out. 16.5% for early backers, 17% for backers, team and advisors got 23%. The Edge and Node got 8.3%. The Graph Foundation got 20%. And then you have Testnet Index Rewards and the GRT sale. My one criticism of the token distribution here is that a lot of the Graph's tokens were distributed to backers. A lot of the tokens were distributed to the early team and advisors. This does make the token prone to dumping. And it's probably one of the reasons why since it reached its peak of 220, it has been um, on a run downwards. Of course, basically all cryptos have gotten hit, but the Graph down 97% got hit hard harder than a lot of cryptos because of its significant unlocks. And obviously with a lot of the team and VCs um, needing to get some exit liquidity, then there is going to be price suppression on the token. But the positive bit of news from this perspective is we are starting to reach the stage where the major unlocks have already happened. Now we see throughout 2022, it was basically the steepest curve of unlocks the graphs ever had apart from its initial launch period. And obviously that's going to have a lot of pressure on the token. But now in January, January 2023, we can see that the token unlocks are significantly starting to slow. And of the total 10 billion tokens to be released, 8.83 billion have already been released, meaning there is only another 12% of token dilution to come, which from a long-term accumulation perspective is a positive thing. So the graph is definitely one on my long-term accumulation list. Now what I wanna do is give you two of the bonus protocols that didn't make my top five, but were very close to making my top five. And I'm gonna keep my eye on how these projects develop. And what I recommend you actually do is create a CoinGecko watch list, add all the AI projects I talked about in today's video, add the bonus ones I'm about to talk about, and then also add any that you come across and find interesting and start developing a nice um, theoretical portfolio of your list of AI projects. Because because when you get a dip buying opportunity as they pull back or if the market's exploding um, and you want to position yourself accordingly, if you if you have a thesis that uh, we're going to enter a strong few months, then you want to have all the projects there on your accumulation list ready to pull the trigger. But failing to plan is planning to fail. So I highly recommend coming up with a watch list and having them there and ready to look at. So before we get into these two bonus tokens really quickly, I just want to remind you that the G Trade trading competition is in full steam and it's got roughly 25 days to go and they're giving away $100,000 worth of prizes. So if you don't know what G-Trade is, it is the Games Network trading platform and they're giving away uh, for traders on the Arbitrum Network $100,000 in prizes in a monthly trading competition. First place you can win 20 grand, second place you can win 10 grand, third place you can win five grand and interestingly there's only 200 traders currently participating in the competition. So all you need is to come top 25 out of 200 to win some prizes, which is pretty cool. The only downside though, is that since their margin minimum requirement is a position size of 7,500, um, you're gonna need some decent capital to uh, put on per trade. So just for some perspective, on a 20X leverage trade, that would require you to put down $375, 
on a 10x leverage trade that's $750 per position. So I'd say for the guys that have um, a decent amount of money, so if your trading portfolio is worth more than 10 grand, then you can consider entering the trading comp. But if you're dealing with a slightly um, smaller portfolio, then maybe you look at trading on an exchange like Apex instead. But nonetheless, um, for the ones that can get involved, the trading comp is giving out some pretty crazy rewards. And if you want to get involved in it, there's a link in the description to sign up for G Trade Gains Network and get trading. Um, use this link to qualify automatically uh, for the competition. There's no sign up. Just, yeah, just go straight to the trading platform and you can start trading, deposit and fund your wallet and you're good to go. And at the end of the 30 days, they're going to give away $50,000 total to the absolute winners. So in dollar terms and then $50,000 total to the people on percentage terms, which means it doesn't matter how much you trade. As long as you're above the minimum, uh, you can win on percentage terms. So $100,000 total. Uh, it's a pretty big trading comp. Link in the description to get involved. Now, my two AI cryptos I want to talk about now as a bonus. The first one is Singularity Net or Agix, which has been a pretty strong performer over the past few months, which is essentially working on an AI network, a decentralized AI network that's secure and accessible and is focusing on the global distribution of AI and offers AI as a service marketplace. Interestingly, though, the creators of Agix are actually the same company behind Sophia the Robot, Handsome Robotics. And if you guys know who Sophia the Robot is, I'll actually Google it right now. Sophia the Robot. It's that very famous robot that went viral and, and had a bunch of interviews on, on television. Uh, this robot here. So the same creators of this robot um, have been working on a crypto project that essentially is an AI services marketplace. So we already had a couple marketplaces in today's video. Part of the reason I didn't include it is because I didn't just want to give you marketplace after marketplace, but nonetheless, it's still one that I keep my eye on. And last, but certainly not least, this definitely could have made the top five is Covalent or CQT, which is a protocol that provides API data to projects in order to help them build. So Covalent's vision is to empower the Web3 pioneers of tomorrow by providing rich API data and infrastructure for the entire blockchain ecosystem. So you can use their API key to actually build a wallet interface, an NFT gallery, a GameFi dashboard, a taxation tool, a custom dApp. So if you're a dApp builder specifically, um, then you can use Covalent's API to harness the power of AI when building a dApp. And they do have support of basically all the major blockchains like Ethereum, BSC, Polygon, Avalanche, and the upcoming ZK Sync. So I think it's a very cool network. And I think any project that is helping projects utilize and harness the power of API long-term could be a big winner. So I definitely like what Covalent's doing. Um, and it is a worthy inclusion in today's video for that reason. So let's quickly answer the question of when you should buy these AI protocols, because I'm going to probably see a lot of comments of people saying, okay, cool. Can I buy now? Can I ape in? Um, what, you know, what's the deal with buying these AI protocols? And what I would urge you to do is follow kind of the rough pattern that I outlined in my tweet. And that is that we often see when a big company comes in a huge boom and, and an increase in speculation in an industry, which is often followed by the dying down of hype and then long-term projects in this niche succeeding. Now, right now, I would say we sit in category number two. We've had the big investment from Microsoft, just like we saw that big investment in gaming from Facebook initially. And then right now we're seeing the speculation increase. We're seeing prices skyrocket. AI relative to the market has been one of the strongest performing niches. And it's a niche, sorry to toot my own horn again, uh, that I called on December 7th. And since then we've seen, you know, two X's, three X's, four X's um, across this space. But long-term, once the hype dies down, um, I certainly think there are opportunities in this space. And this watch list shouldn't necessarily be a list that you that you ape into today or buy calls that I'm giving you today. It's more of a long-term list for the future to give you guys a bit of direction in terms of what protocols I think are worth a look at long-term. Now, some of these may fail, some of these may succeed, but they're definitely worth having a look at um, and understanding how they work because they a, the AI space in general does have a lot of potential long-term. But I do think in the short term, we have seen a slight overextension that yes, could continue definitely running if Bitcoin shows strength. But if Bitcoin does break down, then these are going to be prone um, to some of the stronger drawdowns. So a lot of it depends on your time horizon. And if you're a trader or an investor, if you're an investor, then you can kind of just DCA into the market long-term, um, invest in quality protocols with a long-term time horizon. And if that's your strategy, AI could definitely be included amongst a broader portfolio. If your strategy is to trade though, you can definitely trade these tokens. You're just going to have to do so in tandem um, with strength from Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it really depends on how you invest in the market, but overall you do want to wait for some of the hype to die down and you only want to buy 
projects on pullbacks. The number one tip I can give you guys in this market is to only buy pullbacks, never buy pumps. And if you do that, you're always going to be averaging in during periods of contraction rather than expansion, which we know long-term gives you a better cost basis. So if you are a long-term investor, definitely consider that. Then you can trade the hype cycles of some of these tokens. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit of clarity into what to do in terms of buying or selling. Of course, this video is not financial advice. Um, but I do believe these are five of the top AI crypto projects and five I definitely keep my eye on. And let's see how this space develops. It's super exciting. If there's any more projects that come to fruition, I hope to share them with you guys and give you guys my updated thoughts on how this industry is progressing. But chat GBT has certainly set off a wave and it's not a wave I see going anywhere anytime soon. Although you do have to be aware of price volatility as it's a relatively nascent industry. And the other thing I would say is that in crypto, in general, sometimes projects just use buzzwords like AI in order to take advantage of um, a, a certain narrative or a certain trend in crypto. And right now, I don't believe that we have seen the final version of how AI can affect crypto. Like we all know that artificial intelligence is going to affect our lives in many ways in the future, but I don't necessarily know if we've seen the full extent of protocols that are really going to achieve this vision or whether the current batch of protocols we've got out right now are kind of just like level one um, in, in what's going to be kind of a multi-level scheme. Just like we've seen new L1s improve upon previous L1s, I think we are going to see new um, AI projects improve upon previous AI projects. So the project in today's list, um, the, I, th I believe they're five of the best in the market right now. And I believe out of all the protocols, they are definitely um, five of the top 10 in my personal opinion, but there is likely going to be improvements. So always keep your eye out for improvements um, and keep your eye on this niche. And that's why I recommended that you build an AI watch list because as new protocols launch, um, and I'll obviously keep you updated on this launch and you can add them to your watch list and you've always got them right there in one place. So remember, we still are in the very early stages of the AI market in crypto, just like we were in the early stages of the gaming market when gaming really ran in 2021. And I would argue we're still there right now. We're still quite early um, to these niches relative to other niches in crypto, which have had more time to develop and have had a lot more dollar investment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Peace out.